Hello, my name is Charlie Robertson Jr. Uh, some know me as Zoom, Lil Zoom 100. Um, I'm a martial artist from Brownsville, Tennessee. And I was asked to do a uh, audio recording by a friend of mine to pretty much explain my martial arts journey and to answer a few questions. One, what it all means to me um, as to my martial arts journey, me being a martial artist. Two, why I got started. Uh, question three, is how I've grown as a martial artist. And the last question is uh, how I've grown as a person overall in the process so far, I would say. Because a lot of people get into martial arts and they pretty much look for instant gratification and what I mean by that is martial arts, karate, taekwondo, jiu-jitsu, um, even boxing and kickboxing is a form of martial arts. It's a form of art, expressing oneself in a martial way. Um, and you look up in the dictionary, martial uh, relates to war. So expressing oneself in a warlike manner. So, um, yeah, this, I'll answer some of these questions. Uh, well, yeah, that, that answers some of it uh, as to what it all means to me. That's a part of it. It's a form of art, pretty much. And I've always been fascinated with art. I can draw. You know, I have a passion for, for drawing, painting, any form of art, to be honest. I'm just an overall artist. Um, it's the principles that comes with being a martial artist. And it's a lifestyle. Being able to break away from the norm to come together as a group or to get to yourself as an individual to break away from the norm um, to pursue a different way of life different meanings of life um And that brings me to my second question. Why I got started. Why I got started. Well, I got started um, as an adult, to be honest. Well, as a teenage, as a teenage adult, I would say, if that's a correct term. Um, but yeah. My childhood and just my life in general is what led me to getting started in martial arts. Um, I was always small as an individual. I still am pretty small. I'm five feet five, roughly. Um, Last time I checked my weight, I was 106 pounds. So again, I'll say that again. I'm 106 pounds standing at five foot five, barely. <laughs> so I let your imagination do the work on that as to how my stature is my as a, as a human. I'm, I'm a pretty small human being. Kind of like a chihuahua compared to a pit bull. <laughs> so, 
you know, you can kind of catch my drift as to why I got started. But, yeah, me being small and uh, my life in particular, you know, I'm I'm just playing the hand playing the hands I was dealt. You know, um, I wasn't raised by my mother and father. I was separated from the other four of my siblings. So, me growing up in the hood, ghetto projects, whatever you want to call it, I was the smallest one. Without my siblings. So. I wanted to learn. How to defend myself. Against. The other kids. Uh, It's nothing new. Kids. Kids are mean. You know. So I, I kind of went through some things. As a child. And. I can remember saying. To myself. Or to other kids, hey, one day I'm going to learn karate and I'm going to get my revenge and I'm going to beat all of y'all up. So fast forward to today, uh, to uh, give a disclaimer on that, I'm not doing this to get revenge on anybody. Not anymore. You know, because accepting the martial arts way and teachings, you will be humbled real quick as to the techniques that you're learning is not to be taken lightly or to throw around for revenge. The techniques and martial arts, whichever martial arts discipline you choose to take up, uh, the techniques are pretty serious and can potentially take someone's life. So I take what I have learned very seriously and, you know, I would only use my techniques to either defend myself, to the de- to defend myself, or a loved one, you know, to protect the life, not to take life from an individual. So, that pretty much answers uh, question two and three, the reasons why I got started, and question three, how I've grown as a martial artist. So, it brings us to uh, question four, how I've grown as the overall person in the process. I'm pretty sure they kind of kind of answered that. But I'll say again, when I was a small kid growing up in the hood, you know, I went through a lot without my mother and father. And my grandmother and grandfather raised me to work and to go to church. You know, and uh, long story short, you know, around my teenage years, I kind of rebelled against that. And I wanted to be like the other kids. I wanted to be in the streets. You know, I wanted to party. I wanted to experience different things as a teenager and I rebelled against my grandmother and grandfather's teaching and it kind of led me down a path you know that now as an as an older adult I'm 30 years old now you know I, I appreciate those teachings that my elders were teaching me So, uh, as I, I never could afford martial arts as a, as a child and my family, 
couldn't afford it as well. I would always come home and ask my grandmother, could she put me into karate? You know, specifically, I've always wanted to do karate because I went through some things growing up and I just wanted to learn how to defend myself. But I could never afford it and my family could never afford it. So I joined the military at the age of 17. And uh, during that time of being in the military, I was introduced to something called Army Combatives. It's practically jiu-jitsu, Gracie jiu-jitsu. Um, if you're familiar with the Gracie family, they have a program called Gracie Combatives. consists of 36 techniques. So um, during my time in the Army National Guard, I was introduced to the Army Combatives and um i was i was proud to finally be learning some form of self defense hand to hand combat you know and uh learning those techniques they kind of stuck with me from the age of 17 to now um uh 30 years of age and I'm a full-time martial artist, pretty much. I hold a black belt in Okinawan, Goju, Ryu Karate. And I'm pretty close to blue belts in uh, Gracie Jiu-Jitsu, traditional Jiu-Jitsu. So I also train in other disciplines, Muay Thai, um, boxing, taekwondo, yoga. I know yoga is not a form of martial arts, but it can most definitely enhance your martial arts. I know I'm kind of rambling here, but uh, yeah, as that last question how I've grown as a person in the process, I would say that when I was introduced to um, the combatives program, I only did two years in the, in the service. And my plan when I got out of the military was to come home and be a police officer in my hometown. And two, my plan B was to learn martial arts and to teach martial arts in my hometown, along with my career as being a police officer in my hometown. Well, my plan A didn't work out. It's kind of like my life story and you know, answering the question, how I've grown through the process as a martial artist. So back to the story. And I, when I came home, my plan A didn't work out as to being a police officer. I got out of the military, came right back to my hometown. You know, if you anybody's ever been incarcerated before, it's always the same that when you're away from home, and you come back home, the guys or girls or whoever that's still there, people that's still there in your hometown, you know, the gang or your crew or whatever that you used to hang out with, old buddies, they will still be there doing the same thing. So I said that to say this. When I came home out of the military, I was like, age of 19, 20 or so. And 
I come home to the same thing, same environment, same people, uh, the same crew, you know, the same thing going on. Uh, I've seen, I haven't seen it, witnessed it with my own eyes, but a lot of my peers fell victim to the streets. And some of them are dead now. May they rest in peace. And some of my friends are in jail and in the penitentiary. You know, they live a totally different lifestyle. You know, it's the, you know, it's, it's kind of like, I don't know, man. It's kind of like a movie or something, you know, or like one of those animes where you have to choose a path or like a video game. You have to choose a path or kind of like on the Matrix, you choose the red pill or the blue pill, you know. Like they said, uh, if you choose the blue pill, you'll wake up in the morning and, you know, live your regular life just as you've been. If you choose the red pill, you'll wake up and start seeing things for what it really is and see how far the rabbit hole goes. I chose the red pill. I wanted to explore life, you know, for all of its truths. And, you know, I just consider myself as a modern explorer, modern pioneer, a modern martial artist, modern samurai. So, I chose a different way of life than a lot of my peers. So, I'm not not to say that I'm perfect from anybody else, you know, because we're all living this human experience and experience in life as our own individual. So, I would say I've grown a lot during this process as a person and I'm still growing and I'm still learning. Again, my name is Charlie Robertson Jr. I'm 30 years old, and I live in my hometown of Brownsville, Tennessee. I'm a black belt in Okinawa and Goju Ryu, and currently a one-stripe white belt in jiu-jitsu. And uh, I train MMA, mixed martial arts, uh, at Fight Shop in Jackson, Tennessee. And I'm looking forward to starting judo real soon at um, Aero Athletics in Jackson, Tennessee. So so that's gonna be pretty fun to get started. And uh, also, I look forward to um, a few Golden Gloves Amateur competitions. I will be training at Ingram's Boxing Club in Jackson, Tennessee. So I have a lot of things on the way, a lot of projects I'm working on. Um, I was just doing this audio recording for a friend. Uh, Hopefully I answered his questions in totality. So if anybody wants to contact me or, you know, want to hear my story more in detail, you can contact me on Facebook at Charlie Robertson or um, my my group or my page for my martial arts 
dojo or whatever at Fam First Fitness and MMA. You can contact me on Facebook or Instagram at Fam First Fitness and MMA. And uh, if you have any more questions or you know just want to get to know me or anything, just want to follow my story, my journey. Just send me an invite, shoot me a message or whatever, and it's, it's, it's me, you know. It's Lil Zoom 100 on uh, Instagram, Snapchat. Um, yeah, just follow me and follow the journey. Enjoy.